break showing the way to Brackenfield and uh, Sipton Abbey. Then the grey sunny bay the inside of High Padre, superior finish, Green Hill Tearaway. Commercial artist Wills foot into the red Nevada Gold Kick Noy and Flyers Nap and they stream over the third. And they've all negotiated that. Don't tell the wife the back marker. And Flyers Nap in the red, black and yellow diamond jacket just at the top of the picture there gets a reminder for his pains and they've only gone half a mile or so. Level up down the back straight. Still forcing the pace. Riverside Boy from the Martin Pipe Yard. Great form of Warwick with at least three winners. And uh, commercial artist a little bit awkward at the first and the back straight. And it's a Grange break now that uh, takes the second fence in the back straight in the lead. Into the red was slow there and uh, starting to tail off is Woodlands Boy. They come to the first of the ditches in the back straight. Grange break leading. Grange break then from Riverside Boy and Sipton Abbey. And then we have Brackenfield and High Padre and then uh, Greenhill Tearaway. Superior finish. Nevada Gold now midfield. A gap of two lengths. Sunny Bay follows that. And then commercial artist into the red and kick noise. They stream over the water. Flyers nap passes Willsford, who's passed. Don't tell the wife who's passed. Woodlands Boy. And just behind that is Daylight. Grange break then leading as they come to the three uh, railway fences, 8, 9 and 10. And uh, very smart was Grange break there. The grey sunny bay still midfield, and old Woodlands boy continuing out the back. Here we are, cut fence number nine, Grange Break and uh, Sipton Abbey. Grange Break, Sipton Abbey, Brackenfield, the inside Riverside boy jumping the tenth. They're the leading forward. Nevada Gold, a mistake there, rather reach for it. Willsford's at the back of the pack, and they uh, go through the first mile and a half. Just over two miles to go, then, this mile make Caslet as they make the run towards the home straight and head towards the pond fence, number 11 this time round. Oh, Willsford's getting quite some way behind. Grange break, though, still has the edge to Riverside Boy in second. And then uh, Sipton Abbey, the outside, and those prominent blue vis visors and blinkers, followed by Brackenfield and uh, Green Hill Tearaway getting closer in yellow and blue. High Padre, the outside, the horse with the nose band, Superior Finish is getting a bit closer. Sunny Bay has uh, kept out of trouble on the inside. Here we are, the 11th, and Grange break leads at it. Sunny Bay jumping well. Don't tell the wife out the back. Two miles to go then, and they've completed a lap. And it's Grange Break who's forced the pace with Riverside Boy throughout. Sipton Abbey makes a line of three. They're all in the air together, touch down together, get away together. Greenhill Tearaways uh, cut through the pack to go clear fourth. Brackenfield with the noseband of the purple and white in five. The grey Sunny Bay is getting closer on the inside under Graham Bradley as they take that ditch. And uh, Brackenfield a mistake there. And so the order as they pass us, having completed the circuit in the bits, it's still Grange Break and Riverside Boy. From Sipton Abbey in third and Green Hill Tearaway and Sunny Bay and Nevada Golden Brackenfield and Superior Finish and into the Red and Commercial Artist and Flyers Nap and Keek Noy. Don't tell the wife. High Padre starting to drop away and uh, moving a bit short. Still clear of Willsford and the back marker is Woodlands Boy as they make the way towards the back straight. Grange Break uh, still has the edge to Riverside Boy. And so, as they swing away towards the 14th, High Padre is being pulled up. Lads, what do you fancy? Well, this has been a furious gallop with uh, Riverside Boy and Grange Break determined to uh, vie for the lead and vies at Old Sipton Abbey out wanting to be up there too. Sunny Bay has jumped better than I expected. He's going lobbing along nicely on the inside, certainly in with every chance. If I had to choose at the minute, it would be Grange Break or Sunny Bay. Alistair? Sonny Bay, Brad smuggled him round beautifully on the inner. Don't tell the wife, he's usually meeting every fence. It was the first time he's seen one. Brackenfield's made a mistake. Flyers' nap has never rarely been going, but beginning to get travelling a bit now. But Sonny Bay travelling. Oh. I, uh, and, well, he's uh, travelled out of the race as uh, Sonny Bay. He's out of it following that, uh, and I must say, that 50 to 1 Sipton Abbey is looking big, isn't it? As they continue their run down the back straight, Sipton Abbey the outside of Riverside Boy, the Green Hill tear away and then Grange Break, and look at this, superior finish, the horse that does put in a finish is uh, closing in on them, and in the leading quartet they take the last ditch, uh, commercial artist follows these, and from the back Flyers Nap starting to pick up, and they've still got over a mile to go, it's Sipton Abbey the leader, Sipton Abbey from Green Hill tear away and Riverside Boy, they're the leading three, Black and white colours, superior finish and Grange break as they leap the water for the final time, then Flyers Nap, then Commercial Artist and Don't Tell the Wife, but it's a line of three with the Riverside Boy, 
joining Greenhill tear away. Here's Sipton Abbey, the blue visors nearest to us as they come to take the first of the three island fences, railway fences. A Grange breaker mistake there. Commercial artist drops away into the red is the one that's tailing. They've got five more to jump in the end. Mile May Cuslet and it's Greenhill tear away. Could it be a dream finish for Peter Hobbs? But Sipton Abbey the outside. Sipton Abbey on the outside of Greenhill tear away. Then Riverside boy. This flyer's nap, you know, is making ground relentlessly coming through into fourth place in the black and yellow on the inside. Superior finishes there and don't tell the wife. That's coming with a run. Both black and white colours on the outside and clearly only these six left in it as Greenhill tear away. Whizzes uh, round the inside next to the rails and keeping up the gallop. Greenhill tear away bidding for a hat-trick. Sipton Abbey the outside then the black and white colours the pair of them. Don't tell the wife Jamie Osborne. Superior finish in the ball. Oh, the dark of the, the black and white hard sleeves but here we come down towards the third last and the blue cap Greenhill tear away blue visors zipped and Abbey stride for stride they are there are Dickens of a long way clear of superior finish and uh, don't tell the wife and flyers nap and Riverside boy looking very slow now just two more to jump in the mild May Caslet and it's Greenhill tear away and zipped and Abbey they come to two out Greenhill Abbey zipped and tear away the <laughs> the Greenhill tear away zipped and Abbey stride for stride they are clear of superior finish and they've got one to jump and Greenhill tear away just edging into the lead Sipton Abbey is coming back at him this is the final fence and at it they're in the air together and Sipton Abbey is proving the stronger could be a right result here Sipton Abbey from in second place Greenhill tear away who's looking very tired but is keeping on again and Peter Hobbs is trying to find more but Sipton Abbey but look at this on the outside superior finish has come from the clouds to take it it's superior finish from in second place, Sipton Abbey. Then we have Greenhill tear away. Then Flyers nap, and then don't tell the wife. And Grange break. And behind these came Willsford, who plugged on. And behind Willsford uh, was uh, Riverside boy, and that's clear of into the red. And so, from nowhere, superior finish came from the clouds to take this the Mild May Cazalet to Memorial when we were concentrating on the leading pair. Adrian Maguire uh, was delivering his challenge on this 15-2 winner, superior finish. And the colours of Mr G. Henry, ridden by uh, Adrian Maguire. And this is Adrian's 38th winner of the season. Came from the clouds. Second horse is number four, Sipton Abbey. That was ridden by Kieran Gall, who ran a cracking race despite his odds. Disconsolate Charlie Brooks looks away, walks away to uh, find what happened to Sunny Bay. The judge calls a photo for third place between Greenhill Tearaway and Flyers Now. But there is our winner, superior finish. Finish at 15 to 2. Second number 4, Sipton Abbey at 50 to 1. Third number 9, Greenhill Tearaway at 4 to 1, giving Peter Hobbs a tremendous uh, last ride. Finishing third, look the winner turning for home. In fourth, number 5, Flyers Nap at 7 to 1. Number 10, Sunny Bay was the uh, 100 to 30 favourite. Sunny Bay, who parted company with Graham Bradley on the turn into the back straight. 16 ran. Travelling when he ceased to be travelling. He's picking up the grey hair on the inside and oh just dear oh dear seems to put his foot in the hole or Ooh. Oh. certainly hampered commercial artists badly hampered nevada gold and at the bit rear of the field gignor